going to be making a cross country tips video. Now, I am not the best runner in the world. I am not top varsity, varsity like I'm on JV, but I have learned so much from freshman year to now on running and running tips. And I don't think you need to be the best runner to learn tips and to get better and stuff like that. So I wanted to share with you guys my tips because I definitely <laughs> feel like I have learned a lot from running and like my coach. So I wrote down some tips on my phone and let's just get started. So the first tip that I wrote down was stay with someone consistently, especially when you're starting out. Now, when you're starting out, you don't know what pace you're at or exactly what you're doing because I know when I started, I couldn't even run a lap on the track. So I would say stay with someone that you can keep up with. Don't stay with someone that you know that like you can do better. You know what I'm saying? Like don't try to stay with them. Stay with someone that you know you could stay with that, you know, the pace feels okay and you can keep going with them. And of course, if you're starting out, you're not going to go with like the fast people if that makes sense so stay with someone don't let them get ahead of you just stay because it's a lot easier to stay with someone than to run on your own and be way behind or way ahead and then get tired because a lot of times when people start cross country or track or something they think they're like so fast but they can only run like a sprint and then they get tired the next tip that I have goes along with the other one and that's keep a steady pace I'm not saying to like never speed up or slow down but definitely try to keep the pace without slowing down you can always get faster but for me in races a lot of people sprint at the beginning but eventually you're not gonna be able to sprint the entire race so I would say don't worry if you're behind at like the beginning of the race because obviously you're not gonna be the last person I mean probably not so don't go too ahead of yourself and then get like tired too fast if that makes sense the third tip I have is don't walk even when you're starting out if you can barely jog don't walk because once you get in the habit of walking you will most likely even if you're in a race or at practice you will start to walk more and you won't make any progress so even if you can't stay with people or run super fast don't walk jog very slowly you know even if you're like treading you'll make progress a lot faster the fourth tip I have is race against yourself don't worry if everyone is so much better or so much worse than you my biggest thing is improve each race look at your time be like okay the next race I want to run this and don't get down on yourself if you don't get the exact time just keep working at it and get faster and faster don't worry if someone you know on your team you can't run as fast as them because that's life like get better you know what I'm saying get better and eventually you you may be able to run as fast as them just don't give up and don't worry about everyone else's times because in the end like it's yourself that you're beating cross country is a big mental sport the fifth tip that I have is it's all about your mindset. Cross country, a lot of people have said is like a 99% mental sport because if your mind's telling you like stop or oh I'm tired or this is so painful, obviously it's gonna be a lot harder to get through the race and to run. I'm literally getting ants all over me, okay? But if you're telling yourself that you can't do it or that this is terrible or you wanna leave or you know, you're about to cry, which trust me I've done. Literally last year my entire races that I ran, I thought to myself like is there a way to leave? Can I get out of here? That's my mindset. And and realize when I'm upset or when I have a bad mindset or a bad attitude, running is a thousand times harder. If you just say, okay, I'm running, like, I'm doing it, I'm running, like, I don't care, I'm getting this done. It will be a lot easier, I promise, because I have a horrible time with bad mindset, with thinking bad thoughts, with just not being able to keep control of myself and just go crazy. Cross country, a big thing for me was learning, you know, to deal with yourself in that sense, because being in a bad mental state, it's really hard to motivate yourself. So good mindset, even if you have to fake it. The seventh tip I have have, and this goes into like my tips things that help me even though it probably doesn't help other people I like wearing long socks when I run because for some reason when I'm wearing longer socks It kind of helps my legs from hurting as bad. I don't know if that's just me It makes it a little bit easier for me to run when I wear long socks even in the heat I don't know, but that's just my opinion Another thing is <laughs> my friends and I have put ice cubes in our sports bras or like by our shorts Not like in our underwear or anything but like in our shorts if that makes sense and gotta say that helps I used to put on icy hot before one of my races I think the last tip that I have for you guys or the seventh tip is I like to count my steps or make a beat because for some reason that distracts me when I'm running the last thing you want to do is be thinking about things while you're running because it will distract you kind of just let your mind free which is another really hard thing for me to do because my steps are usually one two so what I usually do is go one two breathe so it'd be like or you can do one two three four one two three four it distracts some people some people it helps sometimes I don't like doing it sometimes I do so those are all the tips I have for you guys today of course I have more but I didn't want to make this video too long a lot of people have been asking me for weight loss videos and you know food videos and what I eat and 
I just wanted to say that I will make some food videos. It's just I haven't been making what I eat in a day is only because my microphone broke on my phone and I've been using my phone to record those what I eat in a day is and like vlog type thing, which no one really watched anyways, but I really enjoyed making them so I didn't care. I will be doing that soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and for all the support and I hope these tips helped you guys. Bye guys. Why these airplanes gotta ruin my video?